everybody, I'm Delicia. Thanks for tuning into the Cigar Vixen channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing slash review from Pravada Cigar Club. So I'm gonna share my latest shipment with you guys and also some exciting news. And I figured that um, I may as well go ahead and just light up one of the cigars and do a review and talk with you guys and hang out. So I'm gonna get right into this beautiful box. But again, for anyone new, anyone who has been um, kind of late to the game and is not sure, hasn't heard of Pravada Cigar Club. It's a fabulous club. I've been a member now for, gosh, a few years, um, since pretty much since they launched. And I love what they do every month. Um, I love some of the new programs and the new features that they have rolled out, including their farm rolled program, which I am a huge fan of, um, as well as a newer program that, again, I'm gonna get into momentarily. So, um, if you follow Pravada on social media, then this is not news to you, but I know for those of you who have been watching in previous months, the last couple videos I did for them, um, they were closed for new members. Now, um, again, they were doing some special promos. I know one of them was gonna be Black Friday that they were opening the new memberships up. Um, either it was like Thanksgiving Day, Black Friday, they were throwing out some different uh, kind of like teasers. So. Again, definitely, I have the links below. Make sure you check out the website. Um, as far as I know, unless they close it back up, you should be able to get on if you have not become a member yet. I know a lot of you that watch are already members and it's, so it's fun to kind of go through our you know, different shipments to see what I got, what you got. Um, again, the Farm World program has been um, an amazing addition, which is open um, all the time. So whether you're a member or you, and you wanna add that on to your membership, or if you are not a member for whatever reason and you just still wanted to take advantage of the Farm World program, um, you can definitely do that. So the regular membership is $25.99 a month. It's fabulous. Great news is they actually ship worldwide, which is um, not a common thing for a lot of different um, online you know, clubs or membership programs, but this one is amazing. You get three rare, aged, limited, special, hard to find, super amazing cigars delivered right to your doorstep. It's like Christmas all the time. Um, I love that program. And then again, you can add the Farm World, which includes, basically it's cutting out the middleman. So you're gonna receive unbanded cigars that are pretty much the same cigars that you'll find in other humidors that are banded. Um, you don't necessarily know exactly which cigar uh, they, they are, but um, there's a lot of detail as to the farm where they're coming from. And so it's just kind of a, a way to take advantage of the savings, if you will, of still really high-end quality premium cigars. They just don't have the band on them. So if you just care about smoking good cigars, um, there's, it's quite the steal. Um, again, the Farm Road program is fabulous. I absolutely love it. And I have been um, receiving those on a regular basis. And I just, again, such a steal. Um, they, it's like, it's just an amazing, amazing idea. So the latest one, I'm gonna go ahead and actually read right from the paper. Um, so this is genius. Again, not surprised at all. Brian does such a good job and his whole team at Pravada of just coming up with ideas that are out of the box. Um, this is the best way I have seen anybody, um, especially any kind of online presence going back and supporting uh, brick and mortar shops. So they are, um, basically launched, they have launched a new program at Pravada. It's called the Limited Cigar Association, the LCA, was set up to help mom and pop brick and mortar shops all across the country. Each month we will be releasing a limited edition, very sought after cigar. We will send each of the shops a limited amount of the cigars to release on the first Friday each month. We will then send all of our members a notification of the nearest shop to them that has the cigars. The mission is to breathe new life into brick and mortar and at a time when they need it the most. Absolutely. We also hope to create safe spaces for our members and brothers and sisters of the leaf to go and enjoy a cigar and hopefully some good company. So again, I mean, yes, this is, it's about giving back. It's about supporting um, we're a huge family, the cigar industry, cigar smokers, cigar people. Um, I just, this was such a great idea. And when I first heard about it, I was just like, I mean, I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised. Cause again, Pravada just thinks out of the box. The, this is amazing. So um, if for whatever reason you haven't received an email or you're not sure or whatever, you can definitely reach out to Brian. 
Um, he has, you know, emails. I'll provide all the information in the text below, but you can, you know, reach out to him, find out what's going on locally near you. And I happen to know that two of the cigars in here, I kind of already know what's in here, a little bit of a spoiler. Um, but I'm very excited that two of the cigars are actually going to be part of the new launch that was mentioned um, for the LCA program. So this one is beautiful. So here we go. Um, so <laughs> this was basically last month. Um, so most of you have already had this or seen it. If you're a member, um, I've seen these on social media. I'm super excited. Um, I have yet to smoke this. Um, this is the lost and found. This is the cookie monster Lancero. I mean, where else can you find this? Nowhere. I, I love it. It's, this is amazing. So, um, I actually don't have the write-ups this time around for these, but that's okay because I'm actually just gonna do, I'm gonna review this second one because um, as far as I know, if you haven't received this one as of yet or you didn't, you know, in last month's shipment, then um, currently they are sold out. These Cookie Monster Lanceros went fast. They were a hot ticket item. Something tells me they may do like a full circle thing where they might do like another limited release. I don't know. Um, I don't quote me. I'm just kind of putting that out there, but hopefully, cause I've just, I've seen so much hype with those. So I'm like so excited to get into those. So, um, these are the, <laughs> um, infamous death bucket. This is the part two, um, Matt Booth collaboration with room 101 and Pravada. I'm super excited. So these are the two, um, cigars or rather the, um, the cigars that are going to be part of that LCA program. So you should definitely check the local brick and mortar part that's, you know, in this LCA new rollout program that they're doing to actually go there and support your local brick and mortar. If they're part of that program, again, you can email, um, you can find out, you know, who, which, which, uh, local lounges are part of this. And you can definitely go there, have a cigar, enjoy that camaraderie and, um, you know, find your latest, your latest deal. So this one <clears throat> is, uh, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I know you guys are familiar with the first one. It was the death bucket. It had a, kind of a similar band. This one of course has, you know, Matt Booth's head popping out, which totally Matt Booth. So the first one, uh, the first, first death bucket had just like the large, kind of like the KFC bucket had the little skull and bone cross in there. Um, just really good cigar. Really, really good. In fact, um, I didn't do a review of that one. I did a review of the exclusive Pravada cigar that was done um, with Room 101. And so I did a review of that one a while back when that one came in. I was really excited about that. Um, but I remember smoking the death bucket and thinking like, oh yeah, all right, I get it. So I'm very excited to actually get into this one and smoke this, uh, you know, what do you call it? The follow-up, the part two, um, very cute. I recently watched some of the um, video there's on YouTube of Brian talking with Matt Booth and they're just like going back and forth and it was really cute. So um, very excited to get into this one. I'm gonna give you a closer look at this gorgeous kind of oily, shiny, beautiful wrapper here. Up front and close, this one, I couldn't find a lot of information about this cigar, which kind of creates some of that hype where it's like, Oh, it's kind of like, what's the deal with this one? It's one of those like highly coveted, like try to get it, try and find out information. I do know um, coming straight from the source that it's been aged about two years. Um, it's featuring a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper and then Nicaraguan and Dominican filler. I don't know about the binder, but what was really cool is that it's the first time that Matt Booth has collaborated with Hoya de Nicaragua to make a cigar. And so, wow, I mean, again, going back history wise, I've said it a million bazillion times, Hoya is the oldest factory in Nicaragua. So, you know, well-earned, well-deserved props to them. They make some fantastic cigars. And then when you add that collaboration, it's so much fun. Like I can't wait to smoke this. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna get right into it. I never do these, I never do like, just these reviews when I'm doing an unboxing, but I thought that I would change it up this time and just kind of go through this and smoke it with you guys um, instead of just showing you kind of like, you know, what's in my box and all that. So um, using this new cutter I got from 
Les, Les Fines Lamen. I never can say their name. Again, I'll put a link below in case you guys are interested. It's kind of a cool uh, like weapon slash <laughs> cigar cutter. Mm. Hmm. So, a little bit of kind of the raisinesque, you know, kind of dry, uh, what do you call it, on the cold draw? Can't even talk. So I'm curious how many of you already received this one in your shipment? Uh, you know, how many of you received the Cookie Monster? What do you guys think? Were you super stoked? For anybody that's not a huge Lancero person, did you try it anyway and fall in love with it? It's okay, you can tell me. Your secret's safe. Um, but I'm just curious. So post below in the comments, you know, tell me what you got recently, what's going on, are you you know, a brand new member, are you, you know, what's the deal? What, what are you guys thinking about the farm world? I want to hear this feedback in these comments because you guys are awesome at doing that. Oh, the aroma is like sweet campfire. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, mm. that has a really interesting underlying sweetness. Um, I say underlying because it, it's kind of just like really underneath it all. Like there's a, there's a spice, but the spice is kind of sweet. And then you just get like this like lingering sweetness in... Um, Closer to like a fruity, dried fruit sweetness. Again, raisin kind of family. Um, oh. That's reminding me of something. Oh, that's going to bug me. There, there's a similarity to something else that it's just, I'm, I'm like, I can never pinpoint it right at the moment. Um, wow. Do I dare say that I'm liking this one better than the first? <laughs> That's not fair, I'm only like two puffs in, but wow. Uh, a very exciting couple puffs. I mean, initially, those first few ones are just, um, again, I've said it like on so many other videos, there's some people that are like, how can you make any assessment, you know, a couple puffs in? I, I do, I think it's great. I think it's definitely like the first few puffs that you take should grab your attention and you should, you know, get something from it. So, uh, um, of course, you're not gonna assess an entire cigar based on two puffs, but the first few puffs should be interesting. Um, again, attention grabbing. This has like, oh my gosh, this is really cool. It's like, I'm getting a, some sort of deja vu-ish, very reminiscent of something or even a, maybe a mixture of other cigars, but it has this sweet kind of like cocoa, dried fruit-ish, like again, raisin, family, maybe even kind of a borderline fig, a little bit, like the entire flavor of a fig would be too strong. It's not that, maybe just like a little little hint of it, but cocoa um, and then like a more of, of a red type of a pepper, but it's subtle. It's not like a strong pepper. It's just like a little, little pinch of it. Oh, that's, that's good. That is really good. Dang, yeah. The aroma is incredible. Um, I wish there was some way, somebody needs to invent a way to like share aromas through digital presence. I know that sounds like so goofy, but oh, this aroma is incredible. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Wow. So again, post your comments. I'm curious, have you smoked this? Um, was it in your most recent shipment? What is the deal? Like, I wanna hear back from you guys that are watching. Again, how many of you show up digital hands are already members of Pravada? Um, are you looking, I know again, when the last couple of videos that I posted, um, they were closed or they were closed. And so there was like some of you that were like, oh, like, how do I join? How do I join? And I told you guys I'd let you know when they open back up. And so make sure you don't hesitate, you know, click the links below, jump on there, make sure you sign up and you become a member of Pravada. I promise you won't regret it. It's like such a phenomenal deal. And it's again, delivered straight to your doorstep, packaged properly, humidified, everything ready to smoke, ready to store. However you choose, if you save your cigars or you smoke them right away, um, the, always on point with the packaging delivery everything is just like perfect on there and then again if you're somebody that's a member but you haven't taken advantage of the farm world again you it's like such a steal and you're getting these fabulous cigars and they're coming straight from the farm they're grown they're going straight to your door cutting out the middleman quite the deal. So again, just trying to reiterate for anybody that's popping on that's new, that hasn't heard of these programs, I definitely wanna make sure that I'm sharing all that information with you guys. Um, again, just kinda going through and letting you know as I'm smoking this baby down. But I'm actually going to, as I said, it's kind of a different type of video. Normally I just do a standalone unboxing and then I do like a standalone review, but I figured that um, I would combine it this time change it up a little bit. So I will be checking back in for the second third on the death buckets uh, part two. <laughs> and um, it's gonna be hanging out here with the little pop out head of Matt Booth. So I'll be back. So coming back in about halfway uh, into the second third on the death bucket part two. This is a damn good cigar. I'm not even gonna, um, I don't even know exactly how to capture it properly. The flavors are awesome. It's a combination of dark sweet cherry, a little bit of raisin, anise, um, even a slight like a licorice root of some kind and um, like a dab of cinnamon because it's, it's definitely not a peppery in any way, but there's a little bit of a spice, but very light. So again, more along the lines of a cinnamon type, but it's pretty subtle. Uh, cedar is also in the background, but it's there, but really nice. I mean, this is like the sweet spot of the cigar and it's a slower burning cigar. So it's taking its time, um, really seems to be, you know, for the actual Vitola, it's smoking pretty slow. So it's like a really nice um, overall smoking experience so far. The aroma is beautifully inviting. Um, it's just, there's a sweetness here that is um, yeah, almost like, even like a cherry cola, you know, just that kind of a sweet, I keep getting cherry, but it's like, it's just a really, really nice. It's different, you know, I'm so used to always picking up the cocos and the chocolates and not the case here. It's more of that, fruity, um, again, cherry, raisin, anise, um, that type of a sweet little profile coming in, but just really nice. Um, man, there's, there's like the, the Hoya presence. <laughs> I can taste it. I mean, I don't know how to pinpoint it and describe it exactly, but it's there. I mean, it has that. So just really, really good. Um, gonna keep smoking it down and I will be checking back in one last time I'll probably be taking off the band uh, at that point but it's smoking beautifully um, I had a really nice solid ash on a while ago um, but again it's kind of a slower smoke it's not heating up in any way haven't had any burn issues just like spot on so really liking this one um, gonna smoke it down check back in one last time for the final little bit Alrighty, we're well, coming back with the final little bit here on the Death Bucket Part Two, straight from Pravada Cigar Club. Um, what a great cigar! Um, just really good <laughs> flavors at this point. Towards the final little bit, um, again, it's been a longer smoke, very slow to uh, to smoke through. Not a difficult draw or anything, just slower burning tobacco. So it actually lasts for a little bit longer. 
um, than most cigars of its same Vitola. So really nice, I, I liked that. It's definitely a cigar that's like a forced time out as it should be. Um, flavor wise, it was really in that sweet spot right in the middle. Um, as I've continued on into the cigar, it hasn't remained as sweet. It's turned a little bit more on the cedar, oaky elements have come into play. Um, you know, there's still like the raisin that's in the background, still picking up anise, but it's not as sweet as that like darker cherry that I was getting in, um, in again in that right in that middle second, third, it was just um, like amazing. But overall smoking experience has been really good. Um, again, it smokes well, the draw was really good. Um, so, you know, the construction is of course on point if it's done with Hoya, no, no doubt in my mind. I mean, it's like definitely showing through um, perfect on that aspect. And then again, the flavors were, for me, they were excellent, um, really enjoyed it. So highly recommended. Again, um, if you are an existing member of Pravada, then you should have received an email letting you know which lounges are participating in that LCA program. This is going to be the cigar that is rolling out for them. Uh, this time around. So definitely check if you are a new member or like you're getting ready to sign up, definitely just check the links below. I'm going to post everything down there for you guys and find out where you can pick up some of these cigars if they are not in your um, existing shipment or whatever it may be. Just definitely you want to get your hands on these. I know that they're highly coveted, especially if you were um, already a member and you had received the first round from the death bucket, you probably really enjoyed that as I did. I'm kind of leaning towards this part two um, as being even better. Um, really liked it. It just, I don't know, it was definitely up my alley with the flavor profile. But um, as always, I thank you so much for tuning in, for leaving your comments, posting all your feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Thanks so much. And don't forget to show some love to Pravada Cigar Club on Instagram. And thanks for tuning in. Cheers.